You're definitely going to want to pay attention to this video because it's going to really speed up how fast you can take notes inside of OneNote, especially when you're trying to get something that's printable and usable for a class or for a teacher. Look at how that looks. Isn't that fantastic? All right, so here, we're doing this, and then we also want to convert our handwritten text and written text and we're going to select it convert it and now let's also change it to the same size as the other text how do you do that all right stay tuned and we're going to go into how you uh, set up OneNote so that you can take beautiful fast notes and how you can make it so that it's printable for a PDF. Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm really excited today to do a brand new OneNote setup guide. So the last one I did had a handful of settings that I thought were really important. This has similar settings but updated ones that are actually working a lot better for me. So I wanted to go through what things I've changed and a little bit of why but not a whole lot. So if you're just starting OneNote or if you've used OneNote for years, this is going to be a really important guide for you to watch. So stay connected all the way through the video. If you have a stylus and you use OneNote, then this is a great channel for you. So please subscribe and tell your friends. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our first setting that we're going to do. Uh, one of the most important things inside of note taking is to keep your notes organized. <laughs> and to provide structure. Now you can't do that easily without some guides and some um, rule lines, which is what I have right here. All these little guys right here are rule lines. So what that looks like, we're going to go to the view tab, rule lines over here, and I have switched from using college rule to narrow rule, uh, ruled for a couple different reasons. I checked this box here, always create pages with rule lines, and uh, I'm going to explain why. Here you can notice that if I'm using the speech to text engine that comes inside of Windows 10, it's going to create a box of text. That box of text is going to end somewhere on the page. And if you start or you try to print that into a PDF format to turn into your teacher or for other reasons, it's going to look terrible unless you use the right size font and the right size rule lines. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to check this here and we're going to bring up the touch keyboard and rule lines. All right, so there we go. So you can see here in, our, in what we've done already, if we were to go to print, this is going to look nice. This is going to look the way that we want it to. You can turn off rule lines. So let's go ahead and turn these to none. And if we go back to that print section, you're going to see this is going to look like an, actually a pretty nice looking uh, document. And you can set this up so it looks like it wasn't done in OneNote. It's going to be structured and pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and turn those back on. Okay, so the second reason we use this specific one is if you're putting in a PDF, this is a PDF that I created earlier on the same content. It actually comes in at exactly the same size as, uh, as the document we're currently in. What typically happens is all the pages come in at about this size, and most of the time they're about this font size, which means if we use a different size, if we use a different size, a rule line it ends up looking like this really not very uh, homogenous we all like homogenous notes so this is important now let's go ahead and delete that and go back up here to the top okay the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at uh, which font we're using so font size again matters because we don't want our fonts to not sit inside the lines and let's go ahead and go to the draw tab and we're going to select blue again and let's 
write something and we can convert it and you're going to notice something right away this size right here is not the same as this size so in order to get these to be the same i'm going to select inside this body of text at the top i'm going to hit Control shift plus c uh, by the way that's key press osd showing that we're going to go down here if we want to convert one word we can do that or we can select the whole box and press Control Control shift plus v and that's going to let us convert that text exactly to the same font size and style as the text right above cool <laughs> i i think that's really useful all right so let's go ahead and explore why it does that why it doesn't do the same size all right so let's say i want to write a subject line a subject let's convert this now you're going to see this is nice and big wrong but nice and big uh, let's bring this here and correct that all right so we have our subject line uh, if we wanted to convert this to a different color we cannot do that afterwards without going over here to home and selecting from here if you're looking at this video so far you might have questions uh, what is this over here let's pick a different color this is the artist pad it's the artist pad from tablet pro which is a tool that we made uh, to work inside of OneNote. we actually added features in order to get this working the way that we wanted the way i wanted inside of OneNote. Perfect. Okay, now if these are in the wrong spot, let's say this one is not centered the way I want. I'm going to select it here and I'm going to move it. It's going to snap. You notice it's snapping to the middle. I don't want it to snap to the middle. I want it to snap right to the line. If I press Alt at the same time, it's going to let me move that exactly the place that I want. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. You can stretch and scrunch it, make it larger. And again, as soon as you modify it, it is screwed up forever. So uh, you can't do that. All right, let's snap that back to where we wanted. Perfect. Okay, the other thing that I'm using, and I think this makes a um, significant difference, is I'm using a specific stylus. I'm using the uh, R520. R520. Uh, this stylus is $40 and it's on my website if I actually slow down uh, and um, try to have nicer handwriting you can see it does really nice clean clean lines um, better than the surface stylus and grab one and the reason that I like it specifically better this is the surface stylus by the way the reason I like it specifically better besides that it's cheaper is that it has two buttons on the side and I use the pen tool which is our last tip to change uh, what the side buttons do on the pen so by default if I set that to none uh, if I go in here I press the side button it's going to let me uh, oh, we did not successfully do that we have to hit the green button alright so I can go in here and then I press the side button the first side button on the R520 pen is the eraser which means that you can go in here and just erase text as fast as you write it really useful if you are taking notes and you don't want to pull up the keyboard to erase something or switch to the lasso select tool in order to delete something all right so the other thing that I really like about the pen tool is let's say I use um, two different colors of colored pencil and I want to click in between those two toggle click location so right here let's say I want red and orange we're gonna click apply and close 
and uh, let's delete that. We're going to click draw here. I'm going to click the button, click it again, and I can have this set between all sorts of different tools. But since I have two buttons, I can actually switch between four different tools with just the side buttons okay, and still erase uh, really quickly and rapidly. All right, so that's it. We have the Tablet Pro Artist Pad, which is going to be really helpful. I'll put links to that in the description. Um, we're using keyboard shortcuts to copy the text styles. So let's see, those are Control, Shift, let's see, F, plus C or B. All right, Control plus Shift plus C or V. So Control Shift C is going to copy our text style, and Control Shift V is going to paste our text style. Again, in order to copy the style, all you have to do is just select anywhere inside of this box. So if you want to put the um, the pointer somewhere in here, you can do that and copy that style. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, a quick guide for OneNote and setting up the artist pad. These buttons right here are all clicking spots that are on the screen, which means if I switch to home and I press this button, it's going to click right here where the yellow pencil is, where the yellow pencil is. So watch the uh, setup guide for Tablet Pro so you understand how that works and how to do that. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that it was very useful for you. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and comment below. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.